Hi everybody, I am that nursing prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be inserting an NG tube. So the first thing we need to do is gather all of our supplies. So we're gonna need some gloves, of course the NG tube itself, a bit of tape, some pH strips, some lubricant, our big syringe, and then a cup with a straw. Once we've done all that, now we can go wash our hands, verify the patient with two identifiers, and provide privacy. Something that's not mandatory for this, but most nurses do because they find it helpful, is to take the tube and put it in some warm, like room temperature water to help loosen it up before you insert it. You want to make sure the bed is at a height for you that's comfortable so you're not going to hurt yourself and that the patient is in a high Fowler's position. The side of the bed you're on is the nostril you're going to choose. So I'm on this side of the bed, I'm going to use this nostril to put the tube down. I'm not going to reach around and try to use the other nostril, okay? That's just going to be a hassle. And yes, some people have one nostril that's better than the others. So you try to do it on this side and it's just not working. And you're like, you know what? I think I need to use the other nostril. Go on the other side of the bed to do it. Don't ever try to reach around. You're just going to make it so much harder on yourself. So this is the side of the bed I'm on. This is the nostril I'm using. So now we need to measure the tubing. So we'll start from the tip of the nose. We'll go to the ear. And then we'll go to the xiphoid process, so about mid-sternum. So this is about how long we're going to go with our tubing, okay? Some tubing has marks on it like this, so you'll know. If it doesn't have marks on it, then just take like a little piece of tape and put it at that place, so that way you know how far to go. So once we measured, once we know how far we're supposed to go, we're going to take our lubricant, dip our tubing in the lubricant, we're trying to make this as comfortable as possible for the patient. Then when we insert it, you'll note how it kind of has this natural curve to it already. If you can see that. You want to use that to your advantage. So go with the curve. Angle down as if you're trying to get to the opposite ear. So we'll insert it just a little bit. Ask the patient how you doing, are you okay? And they'll say, yeah, I'm fine. Now we're going to have them help us. So you're going to give them a cup of water with a straw and say, while I'm advancing this tube, can you please take some small sips and swallow? So they're going to do that, and that's going to help you get the tube down, okay? Because they're going to help swallow that tube. All right, now we've reached the point that we were um, measured at. The next thing we need to do is check placement. One little tip. As you're advancing it, if you notice they're starting to cough or they're starting to act like they're choking or you're talking to them and you're like, how are you, Mr. Johnson? And they can't really respond to you, you are in the wrong spot, okay? You are in the trachea, not the esophagus, and that's not great, okay? You don't want to be in there. That's not what this is for. So if that's the case, then obviously you need to remove the tube. When inserting the tube, it's also a good idea to hook the patient up to the pulse ox so you can keep an eye on how they're doing. So to check placement, you're going to need your big syringe. You'll attach it to the bottom and just pull out a little bit of contents, okay? You don't need a ton. Then we're going to use our pH strips, put them on the pH strips, and it should become acidic. That's how we know we're in the stomach. A pH of 1 to 4 is indicative of proper placement. A chest x-ray will commonly be ordered to verify placement as well. Now we're ready to tape. If you have a stat lock, which is a little device that like pinches the tubing and then also sticks to the nose, use that. If you don't have one of those, this is what you do to the tape. So you would get a big piece of tape and then cut it down the middle halfway. Then this part's going to go on the nose. So we'll put this part on the nose. And then this part we're going to wrap around the tubing, and this is going to help secure it in place so it doesn't go anywhere. Then 
there we go. So now it's in. And you can get a safety pin or you can even get another piece of tape and then secure it to the gown. We don't want this to get accidentally yanked or uh, removed or anything like that. So there we go. We have our NG tube. So that was my video on how to insert an NG tube. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.